Hey, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about seven uncommon ways to come up with writing ideas and content ideas that don't suck. And so I've been writing online for over two and a half years now. I've been writing every day, sometimes multiple times per day. And the seven ways I'm gonna show you here is how I come up with ideas to write about every single day. Now, if you're new here, my name is Sean. On this channel, I talk about how to make money from writing online. So if you want more content around that, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. So I'm gonna hop into my computer. I'm gonna go over these seven ways with you and how you can start using it to come up with your own ideas for writing and creating content that you can use every single day. So I started writing online in 2020, at the beginning of 2020. And one of the toughest things for me when I was first starting was coming up with these ideas. And so I always had this hunger to write. I have always been somewhat of a writer and I always wanted to write. That's something I wanted to do and enjoy doing every day. But I would often find myself frustrated because I would sit in front of a computer, I would stare at a blank page, and I would try to come up with these ideas on the spot, which never works. And this became so much easier when I realized that the best writers and the best content creators don't sit around waiting for ideas to hit them. They are actively going out and hunting for ideas and pulling ideas from their daily life and creating their own idea museum. So following are seven ways that I've used to create my own idea museum and that you can use to create yours so that you never run out of ideas for writing or just creating content in general. So let's roll. Number one or way number one is to talk. And I heard this first from the great Matt Fury, who many consider the, the pioneer of the daily email strategy, the first person to really do that. And he says this all the time. He says, talk, write, write, talk. So what he means by that is he would choose a topic he wanted to write about. He would set a timer for five to 10 minutes or so, and he would just spend that time talking out loud and explaining the topic, and he would write the words as he spoke them. He wouldn't edit, he wouldn't do anything else. He would just write, write, write. And so this helps you come up with ideas because if you don't know what to write about and you're just getting all your ideas out on paper just from talking out loud and typing your thoughts, you will often come up with ideas that way. So this is actually how we came up with this trademark conversational style and why so many love Matt Fury's emails. He has a daily email list as well. You can get on it. He talks a lot about fitness and online business and email. And he has a very conversational style that I personally love and a lot of people have learned from. So when you read his stuff, you can almost hear his voice as you're reading his writing. And I'm hoping that if you're reading my writing, the same effect happens to you. So I don't use this strategy as much anymore. I used to use it a lot. Uh, in the beginning of writing every day, but my wife, Jackie, would probably think I'm a little weird if I'm just sitting in here talking to myself and writing. And so I use this a lot for the first three to six months or so of writing every day. Now I don't use this as much, but it was super, super helpful when I first started. And it's also made me a better communicator and conversationalist and speaker on camera when talking to people and filming videos just like this. So give it a go. This is strategy. Number one is to talk, write, write, talk. Number two is to walk. So whenever I'm hit with a case of writer's block, put down my mouse, put down my, my keyboard, and I walk outside. If I live in Seattle. It's a little rainy and cold sometimes. So if it is cold, I'll just walk around inside or upstairs in my gym on my treadmill. But a short 15 minute walk will work wonders and miracles for you, especially if it's in the sun outside. So whenever I'm stuck or I don't know what ideas to write about, I will go and take a walk outside ideally if I can. And I'll always come back with a new idea that I can write about. So if you don't have a treadmill or if you're, if it's not sunny outside, use a treadmill. If you don't have a treadmill, just take a walk around your home, a walk around your apartment or house. And I don't quite know why it works, but it, it does. Literally every time I do this, it works. So the next time that you are stuck, step away from your keyboard, step away from your mouse and your computer, take a walk. You will have the ideas flowing to you soon after you come back. Number three is to train. So every Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday, usually I'm going to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. I go to boxing on Tuesdays and I do body weight and mobility workouts on the other days. And so aside from just the physical and mental benefits that I get from testing myself while training, I always come back with an idea that I can create content around or an idea for something to write about. So this could be a story about something that happened in training. It could be something relevant I learned that day, a thought or insight that popped into my head something I listened to while training or an experience that I remember that's worth sharing. So an example of this, one of my best sales days recently came after I sent an email about tapping out this new, really big muscular white belt to my class. And I tied this story back to using leverage in my business and how 
I'm a smaller guy than, than this guy. He's like 6'4", six, 6'5", six, and I took him down and choked him out. And I'm 5'9", on a good day. And so I talked about how you can use leverage in your business, just like how I use leverage to take out this bigger, stronger guy. And I got paid a lot to just have fun, right? Go to class, kick butt, and have fun. So if you're not already training, I highly recommend you start training. It doesn't have to be in martial arts, but you should do some kind of sweating. And aside from just the physical and mental benefits that you get, you will always come back with ideas as well, just like how I've done here. Number four is to listen. So I spend 30 to 60 minutes every day listening to people via videos, podcasts, courses, and coaching. And I am someone who is always hungry to learn about various different things. And I'm always looking for new information and new people to learn from. And I'm always seeking out new people to listen to. So my go-tos are obviously around business. I love learning about business, marketing, sales, BJJ, golf, MMA, and real estate. Those That's like my content feed right here. So my goal when listening to anything is to have one main takeaway. And I will take all these takeaways and put it down into a simple notepad on my iPhone. And many of these takeaways, not all of them, but many of them will turn into ideas for content. So the best part about listening is you can go about your day like normal and just do the things that you normally do. Work out, clean, cook, travel. I do it when I'm showering too. I have a little speaker on the wall that plays when I'm in the shower. And I am always listening and learning new things. And I'm getting new ideas for my content. And I'm not having to set aside extra time just to do it. So keep your ears open. Listen, spend some time listening every day to different people and learning new things. And a lot of your content ideals will come from that as well. Number five is to watch. So I see people often saying some form of this pretty regularly. And they say, if you want to be successful, cancel your Netflix account, stop watching TV and just focus on your business. And I don't agree with that. I love Breaking Bad, Game of Thrones, Ozark, Squid Game, all the popular shows, Stranger Things, as much as the next person. So I'm not going to stop watching TV just because someone on the internet told me to. So what I do is I turn it into a learning and inspiration session. So usually what I do is at the end of every day when I'm winding down with my wife, Jackie, I will usually watch an episode or two of something and just spend some time having fun and relaxing and enjoying myself. But the thing that I do different is I am always looking for new ideas that I can pull out from the TV shows and movies that I'm watching. So one of the ideas for my email Rainmaker Facebook group if you're in it, if, or if you're not in it, you can go to emailrainmaker.com, came from watching an episode of this, or not watching an episode, it's actually been watching a season of the show called Lucifer. And one of my best-selling products also came from binge watching this show. It's called the Super Fast Sales Email Challenge. If you uh, want to check it out, it's going to be linked below this video. And this came after I was binge watching a season of this show, Lucifer. So I can save that for another time and how that idea came up. But both of these ideas, which are huge parts of my business now, this Facebook group and this product, which is a six figure product came from me watching TV. So watch TV, enjoy yourself, but don't sit there like a couch potato, just watching all day for no reason. Use it for inspiration for your writing and creating content and creating your offers even just like I did here. So that's number five is to watch more, but use it effectively. Number six, and this is probably the most obvious one, is to read. So I spend an hour every day reading, sometimes more than that. And the more I read, the more ideas I seem to have because I'm taking in all these different sources of information. And so I used to read a book a week. That was a bit overkill for me. I wasn't actually retaining anything. I was just blazing through these books and not actually taking or implementing anything. So now my main reading sources, I have a handful of paid newsletters that are sent to me every month from Ben Settle, Chris Orzakowski, and Matt Fury. And I also have a curated list of creators on social media whose content I really enjoy and learn from. I still read books, just not as much. I might read a book every month or two, but nowhere near as much as I used to. But the world's wealthiest leaders are all avid readers. So that should be enough proof, all the proof that you need that reading is a great habit to form. It also helps you come up with ideas and can help you become a more successful and more profitable entrepreneur. Number seven is to sleep. So this one might seem a little weird. This is another tip that I learned from Matt Fury. And so you might be wondering, how can I get ideas while I'm sleeping? I'm freaking sleeping. And I don't know why it works. I thought it was weird too when I first heard this, but I tried it out and it worked like crazy. So I've been using this for the past year or so, and it's it's really, really effective. So what I do is I ask myself a question before bed 
and I will wake up with the answer or sometimes multiple answers to that question. So for example, a recent example of this, in June, I was launching a new offer and I was trying to figure out the best way to do it. And so one night before I went to sleep, I asked the question, what is the best way to get 15 clients on this new offer? And I consciously asked myself this before I went to bed. And I was also thinking about it all day because I didn't really know what the best way was. And I'm not even kidding you. I woke up or I went to sleep. I woke up and I had this idea that just stuck out of my head. I woke up earlier that day. I remember I don't usually wake up at 5 a.m., but I got up, I sprung out of bed, I ran to my computer and I just started putting this strategy together. So I went to sleep asking myself this question. I woke up. That strategy has since resulted in 68K plus in sales. And I'm going to be teaching this strategy to clients in the next round of my leveraged offer launch, which starts this Tuesday, depending on when you're watching this. I don't know when it is, but I'll have a link to the the wait list for this program the next time it opens if you're watching this at a later date. But let's just say that you simply want more writing ideas. Try asking yourself this question before bed. What will I write about tomorrow? And don't knock it till you try it. It's totally possible you can wake up with your next or your first million dollar idea. It's happened to me, not a million dollar idea, but six figure ideas and ideas that have resulted in pretty nice paydays for me. So try this out, sleep, ask yourself a question before bed that you want the answer to. If it's just around writing or content ideas, ask yourself this. And I think you'll be surprised at how many ideas you wake up with. So those are the seven uncommon ways to come up with writing ideas that don't suck. Let's go through these again really quickly. Number one is to talk. So talk, write, write, talk. Learn this from the great Matt Fury. Number two is to go outside for a walk or walk around your home or on a treadmill. Number three is to train, break a sweat, give yourself that physical and mental edge and also give yourself more ideas. Number four is to listen, spend some time listening to people every day and learning from them. Number five is to watch more TV and movies and use it to take ideas and inspiration for your content. Number six is to read. So you can read books, you can read other people's content that you enjoy and learn from. You can read paid sources like newsletters or email lists and take ideas from the people that you read from. And number seven is to sleep and specifically ask yourself a question that you want the answer to before you go to sleep. Like, what am I going to write about tomorrow? And you'll wake up with more ideas for your content. So these seven tips have helped me in writing every single day for more than two and a half years, sometimes multiple times times per day, and coming up with not just writing ideas, but money-making writing and offer ideas. So this has helped me to create my own idea museum. I have more than 2,000 different ideas that I can use on a notepad in my iPhone, and they all came from the strategies listed here. So try these out. Let me know which one works best for you, and that's going to wrap up these different ways that you can come up with the writing ideas. If you want to get the next issue, this is actually a part of my Friday Fire issue, which is a weekly newsletter. If you want to get the new one sent straight to your inbox and get it right when it's live, go to seananthony.co. It's going to give you my free 1K a day offer buffet course, which breaks down my business model. And you'll also start getting the Friday Fire issues just like this, like what I covered here today. So that's going to wrap up this video. Give it a like if you found it useful. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.